In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the procedure for overcoming the fixed split point in the piano staff style by using a polyphonic staff style, Piano 1-3. The procedure is an important step towards preparing piano music, but the technique I'm going to demonstrate is just as applicable towards any other multi-part writing where you need to have exacting control over what notes appear on what staves. As I explained in the previous tutorial, when using the straight up piano staff style, it's not always going to be possible to find a perfect split point for an entire piece. Now, sometimes you'll get lucky, but when you don't, it's Piano 1-3 to the rescue. If we look at Piano 1-3 in the staff style editor window, we can understand how it works. The principle is very simple. The top staff, the treble staff, is assigned to MIDI channel 1, and the bottom staff is assigned to MIDI channel 3. So if your notes are on channel 1, they'll appear in the top staff. If they're on channel 3, they'll appear on the bottom staff. Now, if it seems like it might be a daunting task to change the channel of all your MIDI notes, there's a very good chance that half of the work is already done. See, if you're like 99.9% .9 of all MIDI musicians, your controller transmits on channel 1. And that means everything you record is on channel 1. And if you're not sure, just open the event list and take a look at the MIDI channel. If you see channel 1 events in there, you're golden. I'm going to demonstrate how to use Piano 1-3 on this snippet of a piano piece. What we see at the bottom is the final product using Piano 1-3. And what we have is a simple two voice part, top staff, right hand, one voice. Bottom staff, left hand, one voice. The piece starts off with alternating hands and then both hands play together, just as I have it represented in the score. At the top is how the part looked after I played it in and Logic kindly assigned it the regular piano staff style with the C3 split point. Some of it looks right, but not much. So the first thing to do is select the region to make sure its score editor parameters are displayed in the inspector. Then go to the style parameter and swap piano for piano 1-3. Notice that all of the notes have now shifted to the treble staff, but that's to be expected because the way piano 1-3 works is if notes are on channel 1, they're going to appear on the top staff. Now you might be thinking that a second ago, I actually had more notes in the correct staves when I was using the regular piano staff style. And you'd be right. But for now, just keep that thought in the back of your mind. Let's follow through with this procedure because it does work and it is useful and we get to use the coolest tool in all of Logic, the voice separation tool. This tool is exclusive to the score editor and you draw lines with it and any notes that are above the line stay on channel 1. Notes below the line get changed to channel 3. Logic skips channel 2 in this case because when you're using this tool, it becomes aware of the MIDI channel assignments in the staff style of the region you're working on. Now the only thing that you can't do with this tool is move the sustain pedal markings which got moved up a staff because they're on channel 1 too. But that's easy to fix. Just select them and then in the event parameters box, change them from channel 1 to channel 3. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you an alternate approach to achieving the same goal but using different techniques.